today, UNC System President Margaret Spellings wraps up her second day on the job. Good evening, I'm Ben Smart. And I'm Sharon Nunn. Thanks so much for joining us. Spellings' new position sparked controversy last October when the Board of Governors elected her in a closed-door meeting. Spelling started her job as, at UNC as a system president on Tuesday, and many are still outraged about her appointment. Paris Austin joins us live at Wilson Library in the heart of UNC's campus. Paris? Yes, Sharon, students are furious. Hundreds of them and some faculty, too, gathered here outside of Wilson Library yesterday to continue their running protests of the selection of Margaret Spellings. That's how some welcomed new UNC President Margaret Spellings. Why did they do this? I deeply care about equitable education access and making sure that students who are marginalized and disadvantaged have the opportunities and resources that the most privileged do. I'm also incredibly passionate about democracy, and I don't think the BOG and I don't think Margaret Spellings represent that at all. UNC's Board of Governors selected Spellings after former President Tom Ross resigned last January. Some say the board forced that move. Students are upset because they weren't part of the selection process and because they feel Spellings represents things UNC doesn't support as a public university. She wants an open dialogue of all races, all genders, all sexual orientations, but her past history does not show any of that. We couldn't reach Ross for comment, but he stated the following in a newsletter Tuesday. It is unfair to blame her for what happened to me or for the process that selected her. Instead, we must all realize she is now the president of the best public university system in America. Will Wearson, vice chairman of the UNC College Republicans, says he supports Spellings. You can't look at the UNC system and say that there is not waste in our school right now. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how she can save money and promote higher education in our state. As for those who disagree, they plan to continue protesting until they feel justice is served. Spellings will serve a five-year term as president. In an email Tuesday, she announced plans to travel to all UNC system campuses to hear students and faculty's concerns. Sharon, back to you. That's Paris Alston live at Wilson Library. Thanks for that report, Paris.